how do you go about making a decision? Do you try and gather all the facts? Talk to people that you know and trust? Maybe slip away and weigh the evidence in a quiet place where you feel like you can clear your head? That'd be great if life worked like that all the time, but the truth is we make hundreds of decisions every day. Some are, are meaningless. It's a, which is the menu item that I'm going to choose for lunch. Uh, others are more important. Uh, what, am I going to take this job opportunity? What am I going to do about this relationship, uh, struggle or opportunity? And we, we, we choose. There's, as we get ready for Sunday, uh, Adam is going to be teaching about an interaction between Jesus and Pilate, um, a Roman official who uh, ultimately um, handed Jesus over to be crucified. All four Gospels uh, tell parts of the story. Uh, I want to encourage you as you get ready for Sunday, get your Bible and look at those Gospel accounts of the interaction between Jesus and Pilate. Um, it's very insightful. But the thing I want you to think about this weekend as we're getting ready for Sunday to uh, go and be together to worship because God is worthy. I want you to think about the question, what shall I do with Jesus? In Matthew 27, that was exactly the question that Pilate had to ask. He didn't have time to slip away to a secluded spot to uh, gather uh, more and more facts and details. He just had some interactions with Jesus. And based on those interactions, he kept coming to the same conclusion. This is an innocent man. There's something about him. But when it was time to choose, he went to the crowd. Because sometimes we, uh, we let the thing that's most important to us dictate. And I think for Pilate, the most important thing to him was other people's opinion. He wanted to be uh, liked, to be successful. And so in Matthew chapter 27, he turned to the crowd after finding no fault in Jesus. He said, what shall I do with Jesus? Well, the crowd, as you know, began to cry, crucify him. And Pilate made this ceremonial uh, washing of his hands because he was innocent of Jesus' blood, but then he handed him over, and we all know that makes him complicit. But my question again is, what shall we do with Jesus? Every day we live, we make all those choices, and God cares about every one of them. He wants to uh, steer and direct us, not so that we can have this smooth, easy, cushy life. That's not what Christianity is about. We're uh, disciple makers. We're called to bear fruit. And those decisions are important, not so that I have a great life, but so that I can advance the kingdom of God. What shall we do with Jesus? Let's make a difference. Let's uh, reflect on those things that are important. Let's evaluate the gospel's impact on our life. What has Jesus changed in me and in the people that I love and know and trust and then let's do something powerful let's pour into the lives of the people that are around us let's love them well let's serve them in the name of Jesus Christ so that at the end of the day when they wonder why we aren't behaving like the world typically behaves we can point to Jesus the author and finisher of our faith have a great weekend.